In Belgrav Penitentiary, Maxwell Lord and the First Suicide Squad attack. Standing before the Justice League and Task Force X, Max is flattered they would team up for him. But it's no matter. Max may not be able to control the Enchantress, but the woman she possesses, June Moon, is easily manipulated. As the sorcerer cries out in pain, the Green Lanterns move to protect her. Suddenly, the rings detect unknown lantern technology. It's coming from the Emerald Eye. Simon is knocked through the prison, and all hell breaks loose. Johnny Soro opens a portal, and the prison is flooded with demonic entities. As the two teams struggle with the new arrivals, Rustam works his way past prison security to the main command center of Bel Rev. There, he encounters Katana, and the two begin a fierce duel. Meanwhile, Max makes his way to the prison's vault, and Killer Frost tries to stop him. However, she is unable to resist his telepathic abilities, and together, the two make their way deeper into the facility. Elsewhere, Lobo chases Amanda Waller and Deadshot to a bridge. Though she tries to warn him that Max is clearly manipulating the alien, Lobo insists that Max freed him, and nothing will stop him from getting his revenge. Batman appears, saving Waller from an attack, and the three swing out of their way as Lobo destroys the bridge. Superman is preoccupied trying to hold off the mystic powers of the Emerald Eye. Jessica arrives to help him, pushing the eye back with her own energy. Suddenly, it stops firing, recognizing the Green Lantern Ring. Jessica's ring then detects temporal energy and, worried about the power of the eye, Simon arrives and crushes it with the construct of a truck. The Emerald Eye cracks, worrying the villain. If it breaks, she'll be trapped in this time period forever. But she must find Saturn Girl first. She disappears, confusing the heroes, but they'll have to worry about that another time. Back in the prison, Boomerang is saved by the Flash, and both men agree not to tell the rogues about any of this. Meanwhile, Rick Flag stumbles on the fight between Rustam and Katana. The soldier tries to talk the assassin down, knowing that it was Rustam that led the first Suicide Squad. However, he just uses the opportunity to strike out. Katana blocks the blow, but Rustam declares that nothing can stop his blade. In fact, she's counting on it. Johnny Soro stands before Wonder Woman, taking off his mask. Nobody can survive this attack, but Harley Quinn protects Wonder Woman and looks upon the demonic visage head on. Cute, but she knows the true face of madness. Wonder Woman nearly sees the face herself, but has an idea. What happens if Johnny instead sees his own image? The villain disappears, and with him, the demons vanish. Wonder Woman is impressed, and Harley is happy to be a team with her once again. Dr. Polaris tears apart the prison, knocking back many members of the team who can't get close. Killer Croc, Aquaman, and El Diablo all falter at the Metahuman's insane powers, until only Cyborg is left standing. Polaris finds this funny. A man of metal against him? But Cyborg has had this body for a long time. He knows to plan for magnets. The hero can create his own electromagnetic field, one that can cancel Dr. Polaris' mouth. With that, there's only one man left on Max's team, Lobo. Deadshot and Batman keep throwing everything they have at him, but nothing stops the guy. It takes a lot to kill the main man. He begins to choke Amanda, who swears Lobo is under Max's control, but the alien refuses to believe that Lord would do such a thing. Desperate, Batman injects Lobo with a brain bomb, the kind Amanda puts in her suicide squad. He's sorry, but it's the only way to stop him. Deadshot only has two words at all of this. Damn, Batman. Deep within Bell Rev, Max has finally made it to his goal. Under his orders, Caitlyn destroys the vault. The Justice League and Suicide Squad rush to help out, but it's too late. Max finally reveals what he came for. The Heart of Darkness. The Eclipso Diamond. A gem of incredible dark power. It doesn't matter how pure the soul or how strong the will, it corrupts you all the same. It empowers you too. Max won't be able to just control people with suggestion, he'll be able to dominate them with force. He will make them become the worst versions of themselves. And they've already lost. Max only has to say one word. Stop.
The Suicide Squad looks on, uncontrolled. But why would he need a group of losers? Right now, he's got the greatest power in the universe. Hello and welcome to Comic Island. My name is Arden, and this is my recap and review of Justice League vs. Suicide Squad number 4. Well, it's another week and another totally awesome Justice League vs. Suicide Squad issue. It's hard to find something new to say because the miniseries has just been so consistently good. The fight with the original Suicide Squad was epic and well done. Everyone had something to do here, and there was a lot of great moments, particularly for Cyborg, Harley, Wonder Woman, and of all people, Lobo. I really like how they would have this one moment where Lobo just repeats exactly what Max says, indicating there is mental control going on here, but it just goes right over his head. And for those worried, don't, don't worry. Did you see him regenerate half his body in this? His, him losing his head is totally fine. He'll be okay. Because I'm not getting rid of him that easily. <laughs> and man, that ending. That ending was smart for a couple of reasons. Not only does this nicely loop the story back around to the premise of the comic, but it also changes things on its head, kind of in that Axis style. Now the Suicide Squad has to play hero while the Justice League has been corrupted and must be stopped. I really dig the idea, and I'm looking forward to next issue. Like every comic in this series, we have a new artist with Fernando Pazarin, and though I feel the art style is a bit notably different compared to the first few issues, it's still a polished piece with lots of great panels that I think really deliver on the action-heavy issue. It's great. This whole comic is great. This whole series has been great. I really enjoyed this one and recommend you check it out for yourself. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. If you like Comic Island, check out our Patreon page. Don't just get exclusive perks and a say in the comics we review. And finally, don't forget to like, subscribe, and keep reading comics.